Mongoro is the traditional home of my people of Poekura. The Tokuitsu Rangatira, or Tinaumana, are the custodians of the mountain. The mountain holds a treasure of my ancestors' artifacts. This is the story of our mountain. <laughs> The seven bloodlines of Poikura dates back to pre-Christianity times. The story goes like this. One day, a young warrior came from Takitumu. He prepared a plan and invited the seven warriors to join him to unite all Poikura under his leadership. The warriors agreed, and so they set about conquering the upper Mataipo of the Vaka. As their reward, Mongoro was entrusted to their oversight. Mongoro translated means Long Mountain. It is a natural highland sanctuary that extends inland from rocks and forests at the foot of the mountain to the valleys behind Mongoro and Raimuru. My father had a dream, a very clear vision. He wanted to share his heritage with the world and maintain and protect this archaeological site for future generations. With the blessing of the ancestors, the unwavering support of our landowners and the contributions of all Harlem Paradise supporters, the dream continues bit by bit. In 2016, a rather brave and somewhat fit researcher arrived and has continued the journey of discovery which began in the 1970s. Together, we took a step back in time to retrace and move beyond the footsteps of Dr. Bellwood and my father. The findings of this surreal trek, which you will hear about shortly. I am so grateful to the Auckland University for supporting this important piece of research and what has been achieved so far will now be preserved for the education of our future generations. For in planning for our future development, we must understand where we come from. Gareth Walters, a young University of Auckland student, found some very interesting things about Maungurua. His findings tell us how archaeological discoveries can help confirm oral traditions and stories passed down by our ancestors. There are marae and paipai in the valleys of the mountain that shed light on the way my people lived around Maungaroa. How it will be important to carbon date these findings to help our search for the truth of life on the mountain when our ancestors were alive. Water's work confirms Mangara is one of the very few historical villages still intact in the Cook Islands today. Cook Islands' way of life relies on a rich past. Mangara provides the evidence to help tell our stories of this richness. The socio-cultural spirit of the, our ancestors will help us keep these stories alive in our future generations. There is a wise old saying that goes, Without knowing our significant past, how can we focus our eyes on dreams of the future? Mai nai na o te ra, vero vero mai o te ra, te tiro to mata ki uta ki tai, tūro ki to reiwa, te tiro to mata ki uta ki tai, tūro ki to reiwa.